And I decided to make a quick video to show how the Hewlett Packard HP 10B2 Plus can be used to calculate the difference between two dates. Sometimes you have problems like this that involve borrowing money on a certain date and repaying the money on a different date. And although I'm not going to get into the the actual interest calculations, I want to show how this calculator can be used to figure the difference between those two dates precisely. There are charts and graphs you can use to determine those dates, but it, to me it gets a little tedious and introduces the possibility of human error when you're trying to line up two dates and when you cross over another year you've got some other steps to do so so let's use this calculator to do a quick way so we'll turn it on and basically you're working with the the orange key and the function that deals with the difference between the dates so let's just do this the first date is September 12th and we're gonna make that this year doesn't matter what year it is, if it crosses over another year, doesn't matter. So let's do 09 dot, very important to put the dot, 1, 2 for the 12th. You don't need another dot, you want to put 2014 for 2014. Then you want to press the orange key here, orange key. And then next you want to press this key right here, the one that says MU. And the bottom portion of that key is the difference in days. So we'll press that. Now immediately put in the next date. 01.27 and of course 2015. And then press the difference day key, the MU key, or the days difference key again. Boom. 137 days is the difference between those two dates. And you can check that on a chart or however you want to do it and it'll be accurate. I'm going to work through one more before uh, ending this. Okay, so Let's go for another one. Now, as with any calculation on this calculator, it is very important that you use the clear all button to get rid of what's in there. And I usually just play with a few buttons and make sure it's clear. As long as I hit that clear all, though, I know I've gotten everything out of there. Now we've got one here that pretty much spans almost a year. The initial contract is dated I don't know if that's very visible, but it's April 5th, 2014. And then it isn't due, or maturity isn't until March 9th, 2015. It really doesn't matter that it's a long time. The idea is to be able to tell how much time is between those dates really quickly. So, let's go for it. 04. Dot 05 2014 2014 again orange key MU key or the days key second date 03 dot 09 2015 2015 and then once again the days key again and there you have it 338 days and you know I of course again you can use the charts to figure that if you love the charts then stick with them but this th th those steps involving those charts can slow you down and get you to the point where you're possibly going to make a mistake and if you're one day off then there goes your problem there goes all the answers are wrong from that point forward so thought this might be helpful um, I don't think it's common knowledge on these calculators that can, you can do that and by the way that 
markup key, the one we were using, only we were using it with the orange function, that key also can be used to do some, some markup type functions that involve money. But now we're using it for time. Thanks. Need to need to point out one thing, one other. I need to point out one other thing before you try these calculations of dates and that is that these calculators have a a date format and it's very important that it be set correctly in order to calculate the dates properly so when you're looking at the display on your on your calculator if you see d.my in the display then that means the date format would have to be entered in what some people call the European format where the day precedes the month so that first example we would have 12 for the day and then the month come after and this is out of focus so I'm going to try to get it a little better but what would happen if you tried that same calculation that we did earlier with with the date format set incorrectly so let's just try it you've got the dm d dot my in the display so let's try entering that same one o nine dot one two two thousand fourteen the days key orange key days key and then o one dot two seven two thousand fifteen and then let's hit our days key again now you see it flashed really quickly but there was error there for the days and it's because the format is set for days month and then year as opposed to um, month day and year so let's fix that now we're going to get into the blue function here. You only have to do this once. Once you fix this, it stays fixed. So, and sorry for the blurriness, but if you can see right there, there's on this input key or just above it, it shows the two formats and it's in blue. So, what we're going to do to, to turn off that DMY and once we turn it off it automatically switches to the to the US format for lack of a better way to describe it um, standard format so come down here to your blue key now press it one time blue key then come up to this input key press that and you see that D.MY disappears so it's gone now. Now we're set for the proper format so we can once again do our 09.12.2014 orange key days key and then we can do 01.27.2015 and our days key and there once again is our 137 days that we did at first yeah, it's important, to, and I think some of these calculators kind of default to that um, day, month, year format. So you want to make sure you turn that off. You will not see the other one that says month, day, and year. You just know that if you don't see that D.MY, then you're in the correct format. So hope that helps. And again, sorry for the blurriness of this video. I didn't spend a lot of time. It's hard to focus on the calculators. So there you have it. Take care.